recall how old you were the first time you publicly exposed your genitals. Pam and Tommy's sixth episode, entitled Pamela in Wonderland, saw Pamela Anderson, Lily James, quizzed about her sex tape in a shocking oral deposition amid her legal battle with Penthouse magazine and also detailed her rise from small-town girl to international playmate. The episode kicked off with throwback scenes of Pamela in the 80s when she was working at a diner in Canada before finding fame. Shortly after Pamela is approached by Playboy which sparks an argument with her abusive boyfriend who declares tell them you're not doing it, I don't want my girlfriend's TS seen by the entire effing world. I don't want my girlfriend's tits to be all over the whole fucking world. The episode then cuts forward to Pamela facing her oral deposition in 1996 in which she was asked how old she was when she first publicly exposed her genitals. The sexist line of questioning continues and she is then quizzed about Tommy's penchant for prostitutes. Why is Pamela blamed for leaking the tape? Then stop with the theatrics, Sandy. I'm gonna get some tea. Back in the present, the atrocious line of questioning against Pamela continues in the deposition. She is made to answer increasingly offensive questions, and it is repeatedly insinuated that she purposely leaked the private recording. The women for sex. So he never had sexual relations with prostitutes? Well when the deposition ends for the day, her interrogator suggests they continue the next day. Furious, Pamela tells Alden that she is done answering questions and that the lawyer should find an alternative if he wants to keep his job. You make that happen or I get a new lawyer. The episode finally closes with the traumatized celebrity walking out of the empty deposition room. Despite Pamela and Tommy being the plaintiffs, the kind of treatment meted out to the former during her deposition makes it appear as if she's on trial. Her motives and innocence in the matter of the leaked tape are repeatedly questioned. Worst of all, the lawyer interrogating Pamela insinuates that her history of working with Playboy magazine as an adult model makes it likely that she purposely spread the tape as a way to make extra money. The reasoning used by her interrogator hinges on the claim that Pamela, unsatisfied with the money she's getting for Playboy photoshoots, leaked her tape so that she could also be featured in the rival Penthouse magazine. Described your relationship with Hugh Hefner as, quote, like a father to me, and that you are. This is denied by the actress, who is appalled by the suggestion that she would leak her personal tape on purpose. Unfortunately, she is nonetheless forced to sit and watch the tape during the deposition, occasionally asked questions about its contents. Of course, the ones actually responsible for leaking the tape, Rand and Uncle Milty, remain conspicuously absent from the episode. What happens if Pamela refuses more depositions? By the end of episode 6, Pamela is traumatized and furious. She turns on her lawyer and tells him she's not answering any more personal questions and that he must find an alternative. Though we don't know, yet if Alden is able to fulfill her request, things don't look very good for the actress. On one hand, going ahead with legal action would entail many more such distressing interrogations where Pamela would have to repeatedly answer personal questions posed by strangers. On the other, if she refuses to be questioned, she and Tommy will likely have to drop their case. So we gotta treat it with the reverence that it deserves. This would likely result in Penthouse magazine and potentially other publications and websites, popularizing the private tape even further. It almost seems as if legal action is the last hope to contain the tape, and if Pam refuses to be questioned, it might lead to an even more unmitigated spread of the recording. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Counsel for defendants will take the deposition of Pamela and Despite Tommy's reassuring we're in this together to Pamela, when they first get the deposition summons, the husband is nowhere to be seen. Pamela is questioned alone about their private honeymoon and is even made to answer questions about Tommy's personal life with other women. Meanwhile, it seems Tommy isn't even called to the depositions. It appears that more than anything, Pamela is being targeted for being a sex symbol. The fact that she is so brutally questioned despite being the victim clearly shows that the objective of the deposition is not to get her side of the story, but to pry into her personal life further. You to watch the tape? Just a few parts. Oh my god. This also takes us back to Pamela's initial fears when news of the tape's leak first reaches her and Tommy. The latter remains relatively unaffected by the whole scandal, while Pamela is placed in the eye of the storm, seemingly alone and surrounded by men who do not understand the position she is in. My big career.